Hey guys, my name is Amina and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to start off with a story and that is the fact that I had a marketing test this morning <laughs> and there was a lot of glitches in the system and I got an email like two hours after I actually completed my test and he said that there was a glitch in the system and that if we went back in and it told us to begin the test it didn't save our score so I went back in praying that it saved my score and of course it did not so I emailed him frantically because I got a 98% on this test and I really didn't want to retake it because it's all different questions again and I was like, hey, I actually sent my score on Snapchat to my eight best friends on Snapchat. If one of them can screenshot it and send it back to me, can you give me the test grade that I originally got? He told me that he wanted to see the picture that I would send him first and then he would decide if he would take it or if he would make me redo it. So I frantically texted a lot of my friends that haven't opened it because they sleep in super super late and I was like begging them to take a screenshot of it. One of them finally did. I sent it over and he took it. So... I think that was like the biggest accomplishment of my day. It was terrifying at the same time, but we did it. I got a 98 on the test. But to get on with today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys the shows that I am obsessed with or have been obsessed with in the past few weeks or months. And I know this is the perfect time to be watching and catching up and binging shows on Netflix, Hulu, or Disney+. Plus. There are a lot of other services, but I'm actually going to be giving you my show recommendations for those three services. So Hulu, Netflix, and Disney+. Plus. So I'm actually going to start off with Netflix. So on Netflix, there are a lot of shows. There have been recently a lot more new shows, but I have not been looking into them, to be honest, because I have been obsessing over some shows on Hulu sorry <laughs> however i will be sharing with you some of the shows that i have been obsessed with in the past or tried to get my boyfriend to watch with me recently so so the first show that i'm going to share with you guys is the vampire diaries i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard this one i just started re-watching it with my boyfriend i only got up to season five on it however a lot of people spoiled the ending for me so thank you and of course i had to spoil the ending for my boyfriend as well because that's the kind of person i am However, with all this quarantine stuff, we like to FaceTime each other and then actually watch the show together over FaceTime, so you can definitely do that with your friends or your significant other. For a little rundown on what The Vampire Diaries is about, if you don't know, it's about this... <laughs> It's about this girl named Alana who is kind of stuck in between two brothers who are vampires and because she finds that out, she kind of goes down this long path of journeys that all have to do with supernatural activity including um, dealing with witches, werewolves, and more vampires. So, and she's human. Kind of twilighty, but not really. So, check it out. The next show that I'm going to recommend is That 70s Show. So I'm sure a lot of you guys heard about this show as well, but it's an awesome sitcom. I'm obsessed with the show and considering the fact that Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher actually ended up together in real life it makes me so happy. Um, they actually met through the show and it's a really good chill show. I like the fact that it is sitcom so if you do just want like a nice 20 25 minute episode this is definitely the show to go to so it's mostly about this like high school kid named eric and all of his friends um they kind of just deal with life together i don't really think there's anything like big pertaining to the show every single episode is different they deal with all like the high school -y kind of things and then they kind of just grow up together get over those things and move on with their life all together another show that i'm going to share with you guys is dynasty so dynasty is actually a spinoff of a different show um i really like the show because it has liz gillies in it if you don't know who she is she is jade from victorious and she plays this role for nominally so she is so savage and she just 
has a lot of woman empowerment in her. It is definitely not a girly show. The show is about her family being very rich because they run their own company and business and everything that has to come with that. She also wants to be her own like businesswoman, head person, but her dad kind of belittles her just because she is a woman in the family. But the show deals with a lot of businessy kind of things, but mostly just like empowerment, money, family drama. Moving on, the next show I'm going to talk about is Quantico. So Quantico is about a group of people who are training to become FBI agents. They complete their training and by the end, just before they're about to finish or when they finish, um, someone plots a terrorist attack and frames one of the FBI trainees. And so now the whole entire world is against her and she is using all the things that she learned in classes and during her training to figure out who actually did this and who put her in the spot of looking like she is the one who did it. That's a very good like crime detective kind of show. I'm very into those shows. So if you are too, Quantico is definitely a good one for you. Moving on, The 100. I'm sure also many of you guys heard about this one but it is about a hundred delinquents who are sent to earth after this big radioactive thing happens and they want to test out if earth is livable and so they send these like 100 delinquents and once they reach earth they not only figure out that it is pretty livable in some places but there are actually been people living there for quite some time now and now they're running into territorial issues so it is a very very good show it's kind of game of throny but not really at the same time jane the virgin so jane the virgin is exactly what it sounds like the main character's name is jane and she is a virgin plain up but she actually ends up getting impregnant by her doctor by accident. The whole entire show basically revolves around the fact that she is now a mother and she never actually had sex. And it is a really good show. It's lighthearted, family based. So check it out. So the last Netflix show I'm going to talk about is Beauty and the Beast. So a lot of people actually don't know about this show and I'm disappointed because it is really good. It is about a army soldier who was basically like powered up to be like this ultimate soldier and they did that to the entire army once they realized that they were getting out of control they killed off the entire army but this one dude ran away and he's been in hiding with his friend for like the longest time now however a cop comes to investigate where he is living and accidentally runs into him and you kind of know the rest already without even watching but it is a really really good show and I definitely recommend that one even though it's only three seasons long I believe it is definitely a binge worthy show moving on to Hulu so I told you guys earlier I have been obsessed with one show on Hulu and you guys will not believe what show this is but I have been obsessed keeping up with the Kardashians who would have thought? I am absolutely obsessed with this show. I'm already on season seven and I only started about three months ago. I do know that it is scripted, but it still makes it really interesting the way they all handle situations and things like that. And it just made me learn more about them as actual people in a way. And I kind of judge them less for their upbringing and the way they came to fame after seeing like they actually do work really really hard for where they are today to try and get away from their past so definitely a show to watch if you're looking for comedy and family drama for sure and a reality show, of course. You have to like reality. Another show that I've been obsessed with on Hulu is The Good Doctor. So The Good Doctor is about an autistic doctor who tries to make his way through the medical field. And that is obviously very hard because everyone doubts him and belittles him just because he does have autism. And I don't like medical shows once again, but I even liked it. So definitely give it a shot and I think you will thoroughly enjoy it too. So this show used to be on Netflix and it was actually the first show that I ever watched on Netflix all the way through but it is now on Hulu I'm not sure if it's on Netflix anymore and that is the secret life of an American teenager so if you have never watched this show it's actually just exactly what it sounds like it is about a teenager who becomes pregnant wait you could not assume that by the title never mind but anyways 
it is about a teen mom and how she deals with that and how she deals with high school and boys all at the same time, family issues, etc. So I just want to let everyone know that this show is actually on Hulu in case you didn't know. But Big Time Rush is on Hulu. I am a Big Time Rush fanatic and I love their songs and I make my boyfriend listen to them all the time and memorize their songs so you already know I'm a big fan. That show is on Netflix. That show is on Hulu. If you didn't already know, definitely keep watching that one. The last Hulu show I'm gonna bring up, I know many of you guys know this, but I wanted to let you guys know that it's on there and that is Full House. So I am obsessed with Full House. If you guys don't know what it is, just go watch it. It is amazing of a show. Amazing of a show. I don't even know if that makes sense. It is an amazing show and I can't speak highly enough about it. So I'm gonna go through this really fast because I'm sure all of you guys know what these shows are, but on Disney Plus, the four shows that I love and have always loved since I was younger were the following on whatever side this is. <laughs> um, there are definitely all the shows, or most of the shows I believe, that you used to watch as a little kid on Disney on Disney Plus. So if you actually don't have any of these three services, Definitely invest in Disney Plus if you really just want to watch sitcoms and those kind of shows that we used to watch when we were younger. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know what shows were on there that I really like or shows maybe that you forgot were actually on there at all. I hope all of you guys are staying safe during this quarantine time and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.